Hello, Lion friends. Welcome back to our Lion Room. I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to jump right into our spelling for this week because I'm going to show you we have an interesting sort for you this week. So um, here we are. I'm going to click right into our Lion's Room. And what do you notice right away? If you said that this is a short list, you're right. Okay, that's one thing that you should notice. It is a short list. This uh, week, I cut the sort in half. So instead of having all of sort 31, you only have part of it, you have half of it. So these seven words are the words for this week. And then next week, you're gonna get the second half of sort 31. So what do we have this week? We have seven words. Now take a look at the right, look at all of those words. What do you notice now? They all end with LL. Yeah, I heard you say it. Okay, so all of these words end with two L's. How many L's? Two L's, that's right. So we have to remember that L sound is actually two L's, okay? So let's go through our words really quick and then you can get right to sorting the words out. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the word, tell you what it means, and then you are going to take uh, the time to sort these words out. Now, um, remember, the first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. So take your pencil out right, right now, write your name across the top. And other things that you're gonna need for this lesson are a pair of scissors and a glue stick. So pencil, glue stick, scissors, and you will be set. All right, so let's get right into our words. The first word on our list is tell, T-E-L-L, -L, tell. Now, remember, every word on this list has two L's, so remember that, t -e -l, tell. And that eh is like egg, so remember that. It's not ah, like, you know, apple. It's eh, like egg. So we have T-E-L-L. -L. What does tell mean? Well, it means to say something to someone else. If I'm going to tell you a secret, I'm gonna say it to you. If I'm going to um, tell on somebody for um, not listening, I'm going to say it to uh, one of the teachers. I'm going to tell, all right? So that's the first word on our list. And remember, we're gonna be sorting this week by the, um, word family. So we have the A-L-L -L word family, the E-L-L -L word family, and the I-L-L -L word family. All of them end with two L's. So remember that. All right. So the next word on our list is fall. F-A-L-L. -L, fall. Now, this is the only A-L-L -L word on our list. And what is fall? Well, fall can be the season of fall where the leaves turn colors and it's right before winter. Fall can also mean something that you do if you're running on the playground and you trip, you fall over, that could be fall too. So fall has a couple meanings and we only have one A-L-L -L on our list this week. So um, remember that fall is the word with A-L-L. -L. All right, the next word on our list is spill, spill. Do you hear that word blend in the beginning or the letter blend in the beginning? I do, spill. So um, this is a word that has a blend in the beginning. It's the I-L-L -L word family. And what does it mean to spill? All of us have one time or another had a spill. Maybe you spilled a drink, maybe you spilled your markers out of your box, or maybe you spilled the crayons out of your box. There's lots of ways to spill. So um, mostly we talk about spills when it comes to drinks. And I, I don't know a single soul who hasn't spilled something. So we should all be familiar with this word, spill. The next word on our list is hill, hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Okay, H-I-L-L. -L. And what is a hill? It's not as big as a mountain. Not that big, no, 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 no. A hill is like a bump in the land that's not as big as a mountain. So uh, keep that in mind when you are looking at your um, picture clues for tomorrow and in your sort for today. All right, the next word on our list is shell, shell, S-H-E-L-L, -L, shell. 
How many of you have been to the beach and found a shell before? Yeah, I have, you have, a lot of us have. There are all kinds of shells when we go to the beach. Some are small and they're from mussels and some are small and they're from clams. So, um, or there's big conch shells. You are um, able to find shells on the beach and sometimes you can find them uh, not at the beach. You can find them um, sometimes in a gift store even. So um, the word is shell. Listen to the digraph in the beginning. Shh. What two letters make that sh sound? We've talked about it before. Sh. S H says sh. So whenever I think of this, sh, I think of S H. So we have S H E L L to spell shell. The next word on our list, another blend, smell, smell, S M E L L. What does smell mean? Oh, smell means to use your nose, breathe in and get the flavor of something, get the scent of something, okay? So that's smell. Um, do we use our ears to smell? No, do we use our eyes to smell? No, we use our, our nose, right? <clears throat> okay, and here's the last word on our list, drill, drill, D-R-I-L-L, -L -L, drill. Now, a drill is a tool. It's kind of like a mechanical screwdriver. Um, it can be used to put screws into walls. It can be used to um, take, thing, take screws out of walls. It's a tool that's very handy. Instead of taking time with a screwdriver and a long time to, to drill a hole into something, we have this mechanical tool that will help us do that. So take a look and notice we have one A-L-L -L word, three E-L-L -L words, and one I-L-L -L word. So there are seven words on our list this week. It's a short list. So remember, we have to be a little more careful spelling these words because we have a couple that start with two letters instead of one, two, two consonants instead of one. So we gotta be careful. We need to listen to hear each sound. And um, today, what you're going to be doing, uh, now that you're ready, take your scissors. You're going to cut that right side of your page off. See where the scissor marks are. And remember, lift that page up so you're not cutting the pages underneath. And you're going to cut that strip off. And then you're going to cut out each word and look for the picture that matches the word. So we've gone over these words. I've told you what they meant. So you're going to... Um, Use your glue stick and your scissors, you're gonna cut them out and you're going to paste them where they belong. Where is the word going to belong? It's gonna be belong in the box to the right of the picture. So there you go. Boys and girls, that is your work for today. And remember, we're gonna be practicing these words all week long. So remember what's important about this list? They all end with two L's. Ugh, don't mix that up, okay? All right, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, guys.